Flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. Here's Andy Lee now. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. And a nice job here on special teams. This will be down inside the 10 at the 8-yard line. And for an offense that is struggling, this is not where you want to start from. Great punt. Fantastic punt. And for all those who wonder, what do punters do during the course of practice each and every day? The best ones do what we just saw there. Work on positioning the football and helping their team. First and ten, Bridgewater. That's Waddle. He's got the catch on the out route. It's a big play there for Miami. 41 yards. We know play callers can be very creative in this game today, but sometimes when they've got receivers with speed like this, they don't need to design incredibly complex calls. Sometimes it's just get the ball in his hands. And down he goes. The pressure getting to Bridgewater. They'll wind up losing eight on the sack there, and it's second down. So a nice bounce back there defensively after giving up the big play. Yeah, you can either get down on yourself or you can get motivated. And that time, they dropped him for a loss. So I would say that they got motivated and made the play. Bridgewater's throw caught by his receiver, Hill. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. On play action, it's Bridgewater. And tight coverage there. It's knocked away incomplete. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs. Able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. Here's Thomas Morstead now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. And this will be up to the ruling of the side judge here. He says it crossed out of bounds at the 16-yard line. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And it hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys, they're tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. They fake the handoff, now Murray. He'll buy some time right. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. Six yards there off the scramble, but it'll still leave him with a third down. I did like his decision making there to make sure they picked up something instead of forcing a throw. Now they've got more manageable play coming up to try and pick up the first down. And don't rule out the possibility that he just keeps it and runs again. On play action, it's Murray. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Jalen Phillips able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. I like how they've started the third quarter here. They force a punt on the first drive, and after this sack, it looks like they'll be forcing another one as well. Absolutely. Maybe got their second win coming out of the locker room. Now the Dolphins are going to halt the action here. It's a timeout. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Here's Andy Lee now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. Oh 
So possession goes over here on the punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? A first down throw for Bridgewater. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. And the Cards will have solid field position here as they take over at their 45-yard line. All right, Brandon. Normally when you hear about guys making two interceptions in the game, you're thinking must be a free safety, maybe a corner. How about getting two picks out of one of your linebackers? Again, he's just in the right place at the right time. And that's another great play to come away with the football. Where's 52? Watch 52. Now Murray off play action. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Jalen Phillips able to disrupt yet another pass play. That is his third sack of the afternoon. Welcome back to the desert. We're in Glendale. It's Cardinal football. They're also out in front of the scoreboard as we get set for the fourth. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. Throwing now is Murray. Under pressure, and they got to him again. Well, that last sack puts Murray and the cards in a tough spot. Third and long. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. And he's going to go down again. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Here's Andy Lee now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. It's a 49-yard punt, but subtract nine there for the return. And it will be first and ten as they take over. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. So now, Charles, this drive maybe a touch more important trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. Off the play fake, Bridgewater. On the run, he'll let it go deep, right sideline. And incomplete on the deep ball. Give him big credit for his coverage right there because when he saw the route break deep, he stayed in position to prevent a completion while avoiding any risk of a flag. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Bridgewater. On the right side open is Gasicki. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. Well, every drive from here out is definitely crucial and critical. They know that they need to get at least three here to get it back to a one-score game. But I can't imagine that in their huddle that they're thinking at all about getting a field goal. They want to get into the end zone and then try and get the ball back again. Now a pass that's taken in by Hill. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. 
A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Up the middle they go with Mostert. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. On second and two, Bridgewater. A quick throw there, going to be batted away and incomplete. That's a really nice job there by the coverage, understanding that they're in a high-stakes situation. If he doesn't make a play on that ball, there's an excellent chance it ends up either as a touchdown or as a nice gain downfield. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. They'll try and run here with Mostert. And he will have the first down before he's tackled at the 12. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Here's Bridgewater. This will be caught just inside the 10. Touchdown, Dolphins! Mike Gesicki, a 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Dolphins have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. So they get their tight end away from the line to the outside, and he works his way in for six. Tight ends are not just blockers anymore. I don't know how many more times we need examples, but here's a great one. Gets to the outside, they give him the ball pretty quickly, and they trust him to get those extra yards, and boy, did he come through, pulling his way into the end zone after the nice catch. And the Cardinals' hands team able to secure the football. The uh, fourth quarter, it felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we've brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score in special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Connor going to get it again on second down. And this defense not ready for that one as he'll take this down inside the 25. On first and 10 is Connor. And he's going to take this down to about the 17. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. Again, a run with Connor. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. As big of a play as we've had in this one so far. This is third and three. Murray again. This is Connor. And he will have the first down before he's tackled at the 12. Five yards on the play there. It's a drive will continue. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. 52, Mike, 52. Mike, nice, sweetheart. Now we give up the middle to Williams. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game. And while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take him in short, steady bursts. He's coming. Double up, double up. He's coming. Double up. Alert flare. Alert flare. Flare. <laughs> On second down, Connor looking for space. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. This will be the eighth play of the drive here. Third and four. Connor up the middle. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. 
They'll run for it with Connor. And this is going to come up well short as they stop him on fourth down. Now the Dolphins will use the last of their timeouts as they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. Bridgewater. They'll roll it. And they get to Bridgewater. Bridgewater taken down on the end zone for a safety. So just nowhere to escape the pressure that time. He goes down for a safety, and that should all but do it here in this one. Yeah, they put up a good fight, but you're right. Now they have to kick it away, and this one definitely looks like a lost cause. So a free kick situation forthcoming from the 20 as they'll punt this one away. Here comes Dorch on the return. For most people, the excitement of the kickoff return is to see a long one that goes back in the opposite direction. But for the guys covering it, it's being able to stop them deep in their own territory. How about that incredible form tackle right there? Shoulder into ball carrier, and down he goes. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. <laughs> And with the defense out of timeouts, powerless to stop the clock, this should just be a couple of kneel downs. They find some open field here. And he will finally be taken down, but not before he reaches the 38. So how about this for a change in field position? From inside the 10, here's first down on the other side of the field. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. Now the card's going to call another timeout, their second That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Charles, why didn't they just take the knee there? You're asking the question that I'm asking as well because we've seen a lot of football where coaches decide maybe they get a little greedy. I don't know if they're doing it for stats or for what reason. We've seen it happen in college. How about in the NFL? The miracle of the Meadowlands. All they had to do was take a knee and the game was over. The Giants ran it one more time. Ball popped free. Philadelphia picks it up and wins the game. What year was that? 1978. I think it was in November. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Back to throw. Murray rolling to his right. Now look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by Eric Rowe. And the Dolphins are going to take over here at their own 22-yard line. Oh my, how the tables have turned now. They were trying to salt this one away, but that interception, potentially a game changer. And I've just got to think to myself, at this point of the game, I know you've been aggressive. I know that's your M.O., and that's fine. And all those teams that talk about all gas, no brakes, you better have the emergency lever to pull occasionally. They could have used it right there. They put themselves in the tough spot with that interception. Now Bridgewater. That's caught by Wilson. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. A well-executed 22-yard gain. And he did exactly what they needed him to do, Charles. Got out of bounds. They have no timeouts. And they knew that before the play even began. Still executed it. How many times have we seen it happen where you know it, yet a guy's still looking for a timeout or trying to stay in bounds? He got it done. Bridgewater to throw. Going right back to Wilson. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch him drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed too. Shot now for Bridgewater. Open man downfield is Hill. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. 
This one came right down to the wire, and CD, they had that one final chance to try to navigate their way into the end zone, but couldn't get it done to avoid the loss. Yeah, and how about the defense there? Because while they had one final look at the end zone, the defense made sure they knew what they were doing on the last play, executed it flawlessly, and no flags. Because remember, if there's a defensive penalty, there's one play left in the game that the offense gets. They didn't allow that to happen. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn. And this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. It's a win for the Cardinals as we say so long from Glendale. Thank <laughs> you.